This is the saloon car, fully furnished with a bar and all the niceties. The ladies and gentlemen would have a fit if I just waltzed in there wearing these clothes. Clothes maketh the man. Put a uniform on a short, old, rather chubby little man, and they'll show him all due respect, even if he's only a constable. The uniform alone gives him power, and that counts for a lot in this part of the world. The conductor from the train, he's keeping a watchful eye on his passengers and their luggage. The train's been held up, and he seems to want to prevent further delays. Sometimes you can find useful things in a waste bin, but this one seems to have been emptied recently. Burglary in British Museum, one casualty. 5,000 pounds damage, culprit unknown. Return of the Raven? I'd have escaped anyway, but Inch just couldn't resist playing with dynamite. I hope the security guard recovers soon. Some of the passengers got off the train to stretch their legs, but this man started his journey right here in Zurich. He waited a good 10 minutes for the train and began to get impatient. Judging by the bag, he's a doctor. He radiates self-confidence, almost arrogance. They won't let me ride along in the freight car, not even if I ask nicely. The crate must have had banana. There probably isn't a single I'm f It's built out of Huh. I could probably pry the bottom boards off without too Perfect. It looks like a normal crate. It's now or never. Hey, you! Scrap! Uh, yes, sir. Let the games begin. Excuse me, gentlemen. No. Can't you see that I am talking to the constable? The train is leaving in a few minutes, sir. I have to ask you to board it now. We should get on. Perhaps we'll be able to continue our conversation during the trip. I won't stand in the way. <laughs> oh. Where's my bag? You left it right there. I know that. I want to know where it is now. I, I don't know. I, I'll look for it right away. If you gentlemen would get on the train in the meantime... I will hold you and your employers liable for this. I'm sure he'll find the bag. Come on, Dr. Gebhardt. I will help you with your luggage. Fine. The conductor doesn't really seem to know where to search for the lost bag. Finding a particular piece of luggage at a railway station is like finding a needle in a haystack. You seem to be searching for something. Can I help? Go away. There's no money to be earned here. That's not what I mean. I just thought, if you're looking for a brown bag... Why? Did you steal one? If that were true, I wouldn't be offering to help you. I saw a little blonde boy take the bag. He ran off with it, over there. Really? Hmm. Thanks. Isn't that the bag? Where? Nothing personal.
No! Oh, man! Let me have a look. You can talk yeah. Damn, I can't let the professor see me. I shadowed him for days in one. Calm down. <laughs> professor Lucien seems to travel light. The Baroness. I don't think that the suitcase or the bat. My God, my bear. I'm not as good as the Raven slipping into other roles. He's had decades. Whatever. The sink. The sink. No, that won't help me now. <laughs> Professor Lucien hasn't slept a single... Escape room. If I stand up, my head is level with but the roof. Those are air ducts or something. <laughs> There's nothing quite like traveling on a train. the freight car with fresh air. It also seems big enough to climb. I'd say the cover has two hinge, but the two... Hey, my pistol! You'll get it back in Venice. Frightening me like that. I could have fallen under the wheels. I thought you were a ghost. Ghosts don't exist. They do too. One just flew past my window. Be off with you. Oh, man. Ah, I can use these. Phew, that was close. He left the lock open. How convenient. This is too easy. I should be able to move about freely in the train, as long as I keep away from Professor Lucien. The other guests don't know me. And conductor. Young man? Uh, yes, sir? Uh, tell me, when did they switch to self-service on the Orient Ex... Uh, for and what about my bag? Uh, I'm sorry. I expect it as... And now... Of course... Dish with old people's candy, butterscotch. I locked. Let's see. It fits. Huh. A lot the bartender. So 
Here we go, a small shaving mirror. No, I don't... A small port... I won't be a thin, short metal rod that can be extended. Something like that might come in handy. Still some coffee. A cup of coffee for do you know what the problem? Um, you mean our lack of a sense of duty? Or our skin color, or a lack of respect for our elders. <laughs> we have so many flaws. <laughs> okay, if that's how it has to be, that should do it. That did the trick. Okay, the candy is so sticky that it should hold the mirror without any trouble. <laughs> As I expected, it sticks. is directly beneath the ventilation shaft. I could shimmy down the shaft and hit him on the head from behind. Uh-oh. Are you okay, Robert? Nothing to report, sir. At ease. Any suspicious passengers come aboard in Jira, sir? Hmm. Not really. It could be anyone and no one. But we've received support from the Swiss police. A certain Constable Zelda. Oh? Very motivated. Might get on our nerves. That limits my options. I can't overpower two people. I don't think I'll be able to slip into the carriage unseen after all. No, oh, there has to be a way. I have to keep Inch happy. How do I get you onto the safe? Or on top of it? The safe is directly beneath the ventilation shaft. And Inch said something about a blackout and a tunnel. I could use the moments of confusion and darkness to toss the letter onto the safe. It might work as long as I manage to open the ventilation shaft and choose the right moment. The Grand has retired to a dark corner, and the Bobby is hiding behind some boxes. Le Grand obviously set a trap for the Raven. Unfortunately, the Raven knows. Is that what this is about? Does Inch just want to mock Legrand? Hinge, but the two screws on the front. The cover, but.
through the screws. Put that on the floor. Yes, sir. That was close. If the second screw makes that much noise, it's over for me. The cover has two, but the two screws... I wouldn't like to. I know people. I feel the old. Uh, I've seen she has the. Something tell. The elderly woman's carer can't keep her hands still, so she's knitting. Bring you ladies anything? Is everything satisfactory? Everything is wonderful, young man. Very good. Got it. They should have been... I assume... No, I... Even after... Obviously, they managed to open the door. Diddy can... Professor... I... She loves to... I bet.
should. What? The light's gone out. Flashlights. Ah, get off me. There, sir. An envelope. My dear Nico, you should take a closer look at the box. Ah. What the dickens? It's... it's a... Away with it! Take cover! What's the meaning of this? What do you want here? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I didn't ask how you were. I asked why you spoke to me in public. What was the point of the bomb? Isn't that obvious? I wanted to dispose of Legrand as spectacularly as possible. You almost disposed of me as well. Did I not tell you to deliver the letter and leave immediately? People could have died. But of course, that was the point of the bomb. I don't want to hurt anyone. You know that. And you know that I don't care what you want. Obey my orders and nothing will happen to you, and you'll soon be a rich man. I won't blindly obey orders anymore. I want to know what the plan is. You know as much as you need to know. We will steal the second eye in Cairo, before the eyes of the world. The theft of the first eye got everyone's attention. Legrand's death would have increased the excitement immeasurably. But this will do just as well. We'll have a showdown instead. The Raven versus the Inspector. That should also electrify the press. Why are you doing this? I thought it was about the jewels. Why are we making life difficult for ourselves and attracting so much attention? It's about more than that. It's about performing on the greatest stage of all. About the end of a legend. You'll see when it's time for you to see. Until then, just do as I say. And what if I just leave? You knew who you were dealing with the whole time. I don't have time for your hypocrisy. You always knew who you were dealing with. If, for your peace of mind, you have to pretend to be innocent in this situation, so be it. But we both know that you begged me to let you in on the heist, and in this business, one must get one's hands dirty. But James! James! Where on earth are you? During the trip, we'll keep a low profile and steer clear of Legrand. I, uh, I lost the ticket and the fake passport. I swear, if my arm was still good enough to climb, I'd have disposed of you long ago. Ah, oh, well. I'd prefer that no one see you while you're on board. Smuggle yourself on board and stay under cover until Cairo. Okay. And no more games. Nothing that Legrand, the police, or anyone else could do to you compares to what I will do to you if you don't follow my plan. James! There you are. Is the inspector to carry my luggage onto the ship all by himself? He thinks he knows me. He thinks I'm stupid and weak. I have him right where I want him. Here's a young thief who'll show an old timer how it's done. Even if it means a bit of solitary confinement. I hope the dock, or at least I'd take a peek if it were possible to open it. You probably. I'm lying? No. Oh, 
Okay, what so? Aha! Oh, you're kidding me! Seems to be a strap for a... <laughs> It's fastened tightly, and I can't reach the clasp. The stuff over there... It's fastened tightly. And I can't reach the... It's fastened tightly. Brilliant! Hopefully the clasp won't... The pipe rolled up against the... How's that supposed to work? How's that supposed to work? The strap won't tie itself... Not a chance. Looks like I hit the jack. Looks like two metal. The ship may be showing, and then it'll just tie its. The ship may uh, that should hold. My best chance. Steady as a rock. Elegance. Oh, great. Okay, I'll tie him up and then get out of here before they start looking for him. And I already have an idea where I can hide. I can't imagine that he'd just leave. Yeah, and without saying goodbye either. No need to be frightened, young lady. What are you doing here? I wanted to see you. This is hardly the time or the place. What happened on the train? Nothing, nothing bad. Everyone is fine. Inch is dangerous. I warned you. I know. That's why we're being careful. 
And you have a smart and handsome young thief at your side. And humble, too. Don't worry. I'll take care of you. What have I done to deserve luck like this? Inch bothers me. He's shown what he's capable of. What if he finds out about our plan? How would he? We're careful. He's more ruthless than we expected. The bomb on the train. I don't want to think about it. We need to make sure that we stay calm. You mean that I stay calm? I'm not worried about you. I know you. Shall we go over the plan one more time? Good idea. We know that Inch hid the first eye in the Baroness's luggage. I'll break into her cabin and replace the eye with a fake. Right. We'll steal the second eye in Cairo. And Inch will be caught in the act. <laughs> it's simple. The devil is in the detail. I have to get into the Baroness's cabin undetected, then find the secret hiding place, and I can't leave any evidence behind. Yes. And Inch said something about a combination, so the hiding place might be locked. One step at a time. I think I'll assess the situation first. And I think I'll make myself comfortable for a little while. So this is how married life will be. Works for me. Everything went according to plan in London? Except for the explosion, yes. The Bobby was right on time. Because he had a good tip-off. I had enough time to take the eye, but unfortunately there was no time to replace it with the fake. Where is it? A work of art. Almost as beautiful as the original. I can't tell the difference. Inch could. But if all goes to plan, he won't have a chance to take a closer look at the jewel until after the burglary at the Egyptian Museum. Will Legrand cause any trouble? Everything's still going according to plan. That means he's clever, but not clever enough. And the Bobby? Peasant's cunning, nothing more. He won't be able to solve the puzzle on his own. There's still Inch. He doesn't suspect anything. We laid the foundation well. I've been his assistant for months already. He doesn't trust me, but he thinks he can play me for a sucker. That's enough. Speaking of Inch, I saw him talking to you in Venice. What was it about? He was angry because his attack on the train failed and because I lost my ticket. How did you get on the ship? As a stowaway, locked in a cold, dark cargo hold. Poor boy. I'll go out now and lead the police and master thieves around by the nose. I can think of something else to do. I can't. He has the enviable talent of being able to sleep anywhere, anytime. He once fell asleep on a cable car and only woke up after he'd already gone up the mountain and back down again. We booked this cabin because it's centrally located. Easy to duck in whenever we need to. Of course, the fact that it's a first-class cabin with a huge bathroom and shower had nothing to do with it. As soon as I've swapped the jewels, I'll treat myself to a hot shower, and then we'll see how the evening progresses. Normally I don't carry so many things around, but it would have been suspicious if I'd come aboard with nothing but a rucksack whilst pretending to be the daughter of a wealthy family. I got this necklace from my father. It's supposed to remind me that money isn't the most important thing in life. If all you've got is this penny, as well as family and friends, then you're a very rich girl, he said. I'll take it with me. It'll bring me luck.
I don't like wearing hats, but they do fit the role. And I have to admit that the day in London when we shopped for Patricia Mayers was a lot of fun. I'm sure I could help you if... Stand aside! If you told me what you're looking for. Were you just getting in my way? Now get out! I'll wait at the door, madam. Yes, yes. So, oh, Miss... Mayors. Can I help you? No, I'm just having a look around the ship. Good day. Oh, that was close. Idea what kind of flag this is, but the pole it's attached to could be very useful one day. It's about yes, it's. Classic. The thief enters through the ventilation shaft. Can it really be that easy? No, it can't. The cover is screwed shut. All the first-class cabins have their own ventilation. The shaft might be my best point of entry, but unfortunately, the cover is screwed shut. Inch is intelligent and ruthless, a dangerous combination. He's not a brilliant, I'm afraid. I think he's fr- You look in his face, in from one- No use worrying about- The poster proudly announces the ship's first Atlantic crossing. The city of New York welcomes the MS Lydia. Very fine handiwork. The model maker even wrote the name of the ship on the tiny life preservers. But the winter garden at the back of the saloon is missing. And the stern deck looks different. It was obviously made before the ship was remodeled. Maybe one of the crew, only someone with... Several journals and magazines. Huh. There's unique masterpieces exhibited for the first time together in their home country, tireless efforts of Baroness von Trebitz. We briefly discussed whether we should try to steal the second eye here on the ship. The lack of escape routes and the 10 centimeter thick door to the safe settled the question. Legrand is an important part of our plan. He's the one who'll arrest Inch in the end. But there's still a lot to do before that happens. Come in. Huh. 
How can I help you, young lady? Are you the ship's doctor? Uh, yes, of course. You see, that's what I thought, because you've got a uniform and you work in the medical center. Well spotted, young lady. My name is Dr. Gebhardt. How can I help you? What are the other passengers like? Mm, listen, young lady, I, I do not really have time to chat right now. Today is my first day, and it is going mm, uh, differently than I had expected. You do seem a little stressed. Maybe you should relax. Stress isn't good for you. <laughs> you're, you're right. If there is nothing else I can help you with. But you weren't really helpful at all. Maybe I'll come back later. Bye now. Fantastico! <laughs> Would it be okay for you if I get some fresh air up on deck? Of course, my dear. Give my regards to the sea. A wonderful concert, wasn't it? I wouldn't have expected you to be a connoisseur of classical music. Because I'm American? Because you're young, and friendly, and radiant. Someone like you doesn't have to know a lot to get along well in life. Are you easily prejudiced at your age? In my long experience, there's often a core of truth at the center of every prejudice. Prejudice is the reason of fools. Was that written in the book you once read? Oh, I've read many books. Good books. But not my books, you mean to say. You're a writer? Mm hmm What can I do for you, Miss... Mayers. You know, I'm not planning on throwing myself at a man. I'm glad to hear it. You have to work. Earn your own money. Oh, I will. My grades are excellent, and I really want to study acting in New York. None of my books has ever been made into a good film. The stories were twisted, shortened, and simplified so that even the dimmest fellow could follow them. I want to do theater and travel. I speak three languages. That would be three more than most people your age can speak. Do what you have to do, but stay away from bad men. Is this your first trip on the Lydia? That's quite enough. Life is too short for conversations like this. I do wish that rather delightful Swiss policeman had come along. I heard you had an interesting trip on the...